thank you for joining me today. My name's Sue from createwithsue.com and today we're going to be looking at the rhinestone kit for Canvas Workspace. If you've purchased the rhinestone kit and installed it, um, there's lots of things you can do with it apart from just the basic, well not basic, they're pretty nice designs, but apart from the standard designs that they've included. So once you've installed it, you'll notice there is a Diamante type icon there. And that's where all the designs live that came with the kit. So lovely designs with butterflies and flowers and hearts. Very pretty. What if you want to create your own though? Canvas Workspace has some built-in patterns and shapes. You have a look at the shape area and you can see there's quite a few shapes here. So you could make your own shape. This one looks pretty interesting. See how it's popped the shape right on the edge. Just take it off the red dashed line. Anything that is created over the line will not go to the scan and cut. And once you convert this design to a rhinestone design, there's a strong possibility that they will go over the edge. So best to just move it off the edge to start with. Once you've got your design, make sure you've got it the size that you want it. Make any adjustments there. Uh, if you want it a little bit wider, however you want it adjusted, make those adjustments before you change it to a rhinestone pattern. So you're happy with it. Okay, so if you look over on the right hand side menu, you'll see that there's a new icon been added following the installation of your kit, and it's the rhinestone pattern. And this is what's contained in there. So you have a drop down with the option of various size rhinestones that you could use because they come in lots of different sizes and we'll just stick with 10 at the moment that's pretty good you can see a rhinestone count there's none it's not surprising it's not a rhinestone design yet when you drop this one down there's lots of options you can do an outline or a grid circular or a hybrid I'll show you how to, as we move through the video, I'll show you how to repair designs that haven't quite turned out how you expected, but you want to spend some time fixing them up because you want them. What about if we went for a grid? You can see there's a, it's followed the shape, the Diamante type shape that we had there, and contour. So you can work through those options on the right here to see if you like the look any better because each one will create it a little bit differently and that was contour I think this one's circular I'll just zoom in so you can see that it's a little different than the ones we've had before uh, maybe too far for you but there's probably good you can see there's like a swirly sort of pattern with this one and then there's hybrid, which is the very bottom one. Actually, I quite like the hybrid one. Out of all of those, that hybrid one looks to be the most accurate. I possibly pop another Diamante up here. On the left here, you can see you place a rhinestone. And just so I want it right on that point. Uh, so it's at 16, I've obviously used 16 last, just drop it down and choose 10, Oop. just undo that one, didn't mean to put another one on the page, go back to the select tool so I don't put rhinestones everywhere, and you can move this around, use your arrow key and drop it down or scroll over to the left or over to the right, arrow keys are pretty handy like that. It could actually almost get one in there, but I don't think so. So you can't move any of these other ones around. See, we can move this one, we've placed this one, so it's a little separate rhinestone. But these are all one. If we go and look in the layers panel, you can see they're all grouped. So if we want to move more around, got here to the layer and ungroup 
And now you can see every one of these is a separate object on your mat. But you can also see that you have a cut line here. Cut. Just go and find that here on the right, show you what it looks like on the right. So it will be called a shape. And it's probably right down the very bottom. Going through the multitudes here. There we go, right at the very bottom, there's that shape. Now you can do one or two things with that shape. Now that you've you've got your design how you want it, got all your placements correct, you can either just go and it's ungrouped, just hit delete and it's gone. Otherwise it will cut. It'll cut your, your design out as well, which won't be what you want because it won't give you the template to create your rhinestones. But maybe you want to create more designs with it. And you can just hide at this icon here. We'll hide. And that won't cut either while it's hidden. You can also lock it as well. So it's locked into place and can't move. So you can't grab it or move it when it's locked. And we'll just make it a bit smaller. So what if we wanted more than one to one? Of those. So you should be able to duplicate this you can right click and go duplicate. And we'll just see if we can grab this without causing too much grief. No, too much grief. Okay, so we'll just undo that, undo all those steps. And what we'll do to do this next action. Is group these back up. The group. Give it a bit of time because it's doing a lot of grouping. And then you can go Control C and Control V, and that'll put another one on the mat for you to play with. Or you can right click and go duplicate. And there's your next one. And you can also go copy. And paste and there's your fourth one let me just go zoom back out a little bit and get you so you can see a bit better normally you can grab the little handle and it will just rotate it's not going to do that for us today so we'll do it the slow way and we'll go we'll go 180 and we'll put that one in alignment with this one. Hold your shift key down and you've got the two. And over here on the right in the edit menu, you can center them. They'll come into alignment. Maybe just the arrow key a little bit close together, perhaps. Mm. Too much, it's, I've obviously tapped too many times. There we go. And this one we will rotate as well. We'll rotate uh, until you... And this one, we will go minus 90. I should do that. Hit enter. There's your minus because we wanted it to go the other way. Once again, shift key down, grab the two of them. This time we'll go for the middle alignment. And that must have been pretty good. And just arrow that over a little bit. So we can see that that is centered. Now you can build on this. So if we ungroup all of those, ungroup, give it a minute because it's lots. You can see all the pieces there, which are all the pieces in the layer panel there. Now once again, you can go through and find all the shape because they will cut. Uh, but in this instance, I think I'll zoom in and 
just delete them, it'd be much easier than finding them. And we'll just click on them and go delete. Find a spot that's easy to grab, to select and delete. And delete. Okay. So that's quite a big design. Perhaps wouldn't have created it quite so big. Let us group them all again because we don't want to lose them and it's going to take us a minute to group them. And go up to the layers and group. Or you can group down here as well. Oop, dropped them. So we can also group them here. And we're back to one design. Much easier to work with with one. Move it around. And we can add more items to this design if we wanted to. We won't do that today though. We can have a little play. So what if we wanted to do something that's more built in? So this is one we've created ourselves. I'm just going to delete that and start from scratch. There we go. Go back to a bit bigger screen, a bit bigger map for you. So that's one design. I actually like this one as well. Uh, here, this one here, this one's pretty interesting. We'll leave it just that size because it's too big. And same deal. Can either have it with the outline, make sure it's selected to make a change. And have the grid which gives you that kind of shape looks a bit uninteresting and you can do contour which is really good actually that one I like that one make it bigger too big for you let's take that in Just position it up so it's a little bit easier for you to see so in this instance Looking at this, says I quite like this because it's got a bit of a gap here. You could change these to a larger stone. And this one here has got one in the middle, not quite in the middle. Get the cursor back again, so you've got your pointer tool or your selection tool. Now, that's, that's all grouped. So we are going to ungroup it. And there's all our separate rhinestone cuts. Just so I want to change that one. You can see up the top here, there's your S10. We'll drop it down to an S16. You can make it bigger if you wanted to. And we'll just use our arrow keys. And these ones here you could also make larger if you wanted to. Do every alternate one, you can do every one. I'll delete one in, in the middle. Maybe we'll do every one. I won't do them all. I'll just speed this bit up. When I edit, I'll speed it up. Okay, so I've selected them all individually. And I'm pretty certain. I can change them all in one hit. There we go. So these might need a little bit of adjustment. Just zoom right in. Because the design was a little bit off center, how it converted it. Some are positioned really well. Like that one there is positioned really well. That one. This one's starting to not be quite right. So we'll just give it a couple of taps with the arrow key. Same with that one. Same with that one. Might do a left and a right for that one. Same with that one. And position them so you're happy with the design. That one there's not too bad. Here we're starting to see it's touching there. You wouldn't want that to touch. 
and same with this one we'll just move that a little bit too and that one so we just adjust until you're happy with how they they look if you zoom back out this one here is touching too so you won't want that to touch I'll zoom back out or scroll back out there we go just make it how you how you're happy with it might just need a little bit of tidying up that's basically how you do it once again the outside you can see this is you can see this is um, separate we don't want it to cut it's going to cut so we don't want that we can go into the layers panel and either hide it if we want to use it again it's probably at the bottom yes here it is so we can either hide it lock it or hit the delete key and delete it let's add a little bit of color to this just so you can see it a bit clearer your computer lags a little bit doing this don't um, don't be concerned it's it's working with a lot of shapes uh, let's make a bit of pink perhaps and if you really want it to have an idea of what it's going to look like so we've got the black around the outside you can make that pink as well it makes no difference this is purely for you to see what it might look like those colors make no difference to your cut whatsoever but it does give you a bit better idea especially if you might want to select all of these and put them in a different color see what that looks like Maybe that one, I don't know if it will select that one. Now I've selected, yes, it will. Uh, what if we did a white fill for a crystal? Of course, I missed one. Of course, I did. There we go. Okay, so they could be a, a brighter or a clear, what they call a clear rhinestone or a diamante type looking rhinestone and some colored ones and that's what that would look like so those colors are just uh, like a de design feature to help you see what this might look like as the end result makes no difference to how it cuts whatsoever all right that's really pretty i might actually save that one and so you can save as and save it as a cwprj file which is a canvas workspace project file or you can export it as an FCM. I'm just going to save it as a. I'll just pop it right there for the minute. Rhinestone. Rhinestone shape. I'll do for the minute. Just so it's saved. Now, what did we start with? Goodness. We started with that. And look what we've got now. You can see. So that's come a long way from that very basic shape. To a very pretty design I might finish off this video now I've got some other ideas as we work through and some of them turn out really really well and it will also give you a bit of help with some other things so I'll do another video like a follow-up video with making some more thanks for joining me today and I'll talk to you another day come visit me on createwithsue.com see ya